when you get on the stage, you really have to be just there. Whatever else has been going on, you know, you, you leave it behind. And it usually happens naturally because in that moment, you're required to do a lot. You're required to make sure everything's in tune, working. The words are there, the song is there, the rapport with the audience. So there's so much going on. You, you couldn't possibly be, you know, somewhere else. You have to be present and you have to get into it. And uh, if that's all working, then uh, yeah, it should be fun. It's, that's, I think that's sort of our, correct me if I'm wrong, but I think that's our natural state happiness if you take away all the misery that surrounds it. But you know, that's, if you, I just find that uh, I've had worse jobs, you know? I've had washed dishes and picked fruit. <laughs> so I'm happy as hell doing this. So it's You know what's the funny thing? I had to change the page so because I can't I always remember the lyrics. It's a new song. The funny thing is I can't even see that far anymore. <laughs> I amazed myself at moments of the As being able to or qualified to play the blues, it seemed to be an art uh, form or a genre that whoever could play it owned it. And I like that about it, you know. You didn't you never got qualified, certified, you didn't read your grade reach your grade eight in the blues theory. You just like if you had it in you, you could do it and uh, you could almost learn it yourself. scene in the 70s, I think something like 75% of live music was blues around Toronto. I grew up around Toronto. That was the live music before. Uh, it sort of got pushed out by uh, disco music and, uh, you know, and whatnot. Uh, but up until then, blues music was the, was the majority of live music. And I, I worked around Toronto as a sound man. I worked in clubs and there was one club I worked at, uh, especially the El Combo Club, where we had all the great blues players. We had uh, Willie Dixon, John Hammond, Muddy Waters. In fact, I mixed sound for John. Uh, this is like 1973 or something. And uh, yeah, it was a great time. And for me, the blues was the, was the music of that time. I mean, there was rock music around. I liked that too. But blues was uh, what was really interesting and, and happening for me, because I could see so much of it live. guitar as a lap instrument and I like to play that. I've been playing many years with a steel bar. Um, I have the Indian slide guitar which has 20 strings and it's a lovely instrument. It, uh, it's set up really like a sitar uh, but it looks a lot like a guitar 
and uh, that's probably my uh, what I'm known for that instrument playing that instrument uh, I found that instrument in India and I, I had my own made in Calcutta uh, many years ago Stretch my eyes, wanna stretch my limbs. It's the way that this began. Old child, old up. Just be easy now, just be easy. Old up, pass me home. I played in many faraway places. Each place has their own charm and, and challenge. Um, but uh, one thing that's clear is that language is never a barrier. You know, my most, uh, I sell most of my records in Canada to the French population. So wherever you go, it seems music is the one thing that everyone's attuned to. And uh, they, uh, they sort of hum along with the, whether they know the words or not. They pick up something else, I guess. It's not the language. It's some, some aspect of the music that turns them on. You don't really have to look very far um, to find, uh, you know, subject matter, but uh, mostly my themes are around challenges we all have on a personal level, you know, love, life, and death, and things that uh, impact us strong. I try to get some of that into the song. In, within the poetry, I try to, to say something that will inspire. And, um, you know, that's kind of my goal. I, 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 I think there's, there's not a better goal than to try to use your art somewhat objectively and, and inspire people, you know. It's not my uh, personal catharsis. It's, it's something I'm trying to get bring people a little closer to something beautiful. I would have given you the long version, except I only have two hands, you know, I wish I had four sometimes.